that cat mommy here and today i'm going to give you some tips on how to keep these little annoying black bugs off your catnip and off your cat grass in a way that is safe for your cats so we had just planted catnip and cat grass and unfortunately it decided it wanted to pour rain where we live all the time which made the dirt that the catnip and cat grass was in because it's outside it made it very very moist and caused these little black bugs to appear which then multiplied rapidly now from what i understand these bugs will not actually hurt the plants but they are super annoying they are everywhere they were flying around everywhere and it was driving me insane so i was looking up ways that you could get rid of them naturally because i don't want to put chemicals anywhere near my cat's plants <laughs> that's not what i want to do so i looked up online and they said that you can just take dawn and water and mix it together like this and then just shake it up and you can actually spray it on these bugs and it will kill them and i thought well, this is never going to work, but I gave it a try and I couldn't believe it. It actually did work. Now, before I even tested this out to make sure that it worked, I did my research. I know that Dawn is safe to use on kittens because it's how a lot of times you can't use like any kind of shampoo or anything on kittens. It's how you get the fleas off of them when if you're bringing an outside cat in, put Dawn on them and then you rub them down, clean them up and it helps kill all the fleas. So I knew that cats could be around Dawn, but I didn't know how is it going to affect the plant. So I actually called my vet and they said, yes, you can use this on the plant. You don't want to spray it directly on your catnip. And you can see that here in the video, some of the catnip did get this mixture on it just because it's very hard to control when your catnip plants are super small, but that's okay because the cats aren't going to be eating it anytime soon so all we really needed to do was wash it off before we dried it out if we have to use this mixture again in the future but for right now that's okay now with our cat grass our cats are actively eating that it already has grown big enough for them to eat it so we didn't want to spray it directly on the plant where you want to spray it is in the soil which these little critters are not actually attracted to the plant they're attracted to the moisture in the soil so you do want to eventually dry out whatever kind of soil you happen to have your plant in but until then the way to kill them is just to use this little mixture again don't spray it on the plant spray it on the soil make sure that it dries and it will kill them on contact i could not believe how quick it killed them apparently dawn dries out their little ectoskeletons and it just kills them instantly which is pretty cool so i wanted to make sure like okay with my vet is this okay to use and they said absolutely as long as you're not spraying it on the plant and then giving it directly to the animal so and before our cats you know were going to be eating the grass we just made sure that we watered it really really well and so there was no dawn that they might be ingesting obviously again with the catnip it's super, super small. By the time it gets big, hopefully the bugs will be gone. If not, we will definitely just rinse it off before we dry it out. I hope this is going to help you keep your pets safe and help keep those bugs away. If you guys like this video, make sure you follow us on all our social media networks where we have funny videos of our cats talking, which some people seem to enjoy. And remember what to do until I see you over on the next video. You want to keep living your most perfect life.